Oh, we have a young lass from the Bay Area who's driven 400 miles to come see me. She is in dire straits, lots of pain, seen multiple chiropractors, and now has come down to see me because these chiropractors refuse to adjust her neck and refuse to take x-rays. So we shot a couple x-rays, identified the problem. Check it out. We help her, and in only three days. I think you should watch this video. Pretty damn cool in my book. Chronic neck um, and lower back pain. Yeah, um, chronic. Chronic, yeah. Well, it's not three years, 10 years. 10 years, low back pain. Years, yeah, yeah. 10 years, yeah. Headaches are less than they used to be, but she still yeah. gets headaches about three or four times a, a month. Yeah, I go to bed early, but I don't get good quality of sleep. Yeah, 10 years. I mean, for a long time. And anxiety off and on, mm -hmm. uh, depression off and little bits here and there. I have TMJ too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're not going to get to that this Side week. Thing. Yeah, I did the chiropractor thing um, locally, and that was very temporary. Um, and then the pain just was getting more chronic, more worse gotcha. gradually. And I saw your videos. Something was compelling about them because people also in your videos saw other chiropractors and didn't get any help. And so. Tell them mm -hmm. about what you had to ask the chiropractors to do to you because they didn't want to do it. Um, <clears throat> I actually wanted a neck adjustment. <laughs> I thought it would just come with a adjustment. Yeah, the package. Mm -hmm, but I yeah. didn't get it. So okay. yeah, and so she has carpal tunnel, she has neck pain, and they never want to adjust her neck, which I find very funny. I think the funniest part about her is that she's been self-adjusting all her life. Yes, chronic. Chronically self-adjusting, yeah. and I was going to ask her to do it on camera because I like performances. Oh, and um, but I asked the last girl to dance; she wouldn't dance, so I doubt she's going to self-adjust. Yeah. But two times an hour. Yeah, yeah. And she was actually being nice about that. I go two times an hour. She goes, uh, yeah. And I go, uh, how long? Uh, my whole life. And so uh, <laughs> she's been doing this a long time. And tell us what you told me, which I love. This one sentence you said. I can crack every pretty much knuckle joint in my body that cracks. Any joint in her body. Besides she crack my nose. I can't do my nose. <laughs> but she's tried. You know she's tried. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know that, but she's tried. Okay, so all you freaking self-adjusters, this is the best line I've ever heard. <laughs> she is so confident in her own personal skills <laughs> that she claims <laughs> that she can actually adjust every freaking bone in her body. Yes. So all those freaking chiropractors out there that adjust every bone in the body, are they doing anything? Not necessarily, because I'm going to show you on camera that a chiropractor does specific things that looks at x-rays. And I, wait till I show you x-rays. Oh my god. There's, there's a spot that looks like you injured yourself. There was, a, there was a trauma there in the past. I'll tell you in a second. But anyways, where was I? That, yeah. The, the <laughs> x-ray. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but she ha says she claims just everybody in her body. So why hasn't she felt, fixed herself? Because she hasn't. And so she's only made it worse. And she has no clue of this. I told her this. And so uh, I want to show you guys. And I think it's amazing somebody be that cocky to tell me that they just every <laughs> bone in their body before they get a chiropractic adjustment. That is freaking hilarious. And she has a real bad injury, C5, C6. And so uh, arthritis really focused on the area. You can actually see how it's really posterior. And an x-ray would have shown that. Mm -hmm. And so um, it needs to be adjusted properly at that position. Oh, a little tighter this time. Okay, well, good. What yeah. do you feel like? Just tell us what you feel. Uh, maybe like a six, I'll round six. up. Six, okay, that's yeah. fine. Let's... Ooh, that cracked. Um, Lucky six. you. Six. Six? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the floor, please. Ooh, that cracked too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at she's all happy. Six. Everything. Look at the ceiling. Well, this is a little better. Maybe a five on that good. one. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, that was three sixes still, though, by the way, guys. What does that mean? So, anyway, squat to the ground. Squat, she goes six, six, six. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Get pain in her back. What do you? Oh, what's I'm gonna, pain I'm back? gonna put another six there. Gotcha. How about the knee tension? Your knee. The, the knee is about a five. Oh my lord. <laughs> you can call me Doctor Thayer. Wow, that was that was I would say about like seven cracks in there in like a second. Are you impressed as a self-adjuster, a self-proclaimed? That was amazing. Like, wow. I, I can't do that. I'm you, sorry. I wow. Can't do that. It felt like it was like the crack that I wanted to do all along. <laughs> I thought you were Miss Magic, ma magic Hands. You were Miss Magic. I, I can just do everything. Yeah, see? So I loved your <laughs> cockiness. That was really cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm impressed that I that wowed it. That good. Oh, my gosh. 
I wow the self adjuster. That's pretty cool. That's wow, that was surround sound. Oh my gosh, yeah. that was amazing. You actually. Why can't I do that? That's just. <laughs> <laughs> Helping Kathy up and we're reminding her not to twist and turn or she will undo my work. She hates this, by the way. As a self-adjuster, she can't stand this. Look at her. If she wants to fidget, she can't help it. She, I can see her I know. face. It's kind of awkward, right? Okay, so uh, awkward silence. No, it's not awkward silence. Awkward stillness. Okay, as many of you know, we're going to recalibrate her spine by sending her down the hall. This is one of the most important things after my adjustment. Let's see how she's doing. Light and um, like almost kind of feel like, is airless a word? No, air. You tell airborne? us. Airborne? Airborne? <laughs> you tell us. Airborne. That's a. Just light. Sorry, I'm running out of vocab words here. Like, just light on my feet. Gotcha. <clears throat> now, the big question is, is um, how is that different than your own pathetic self-adjusting you do? Um, well, just off the bat, it just, it was more like deeper, satisfying um, sound quality was amazing. <laughs> She is. She really watches a lot of videos. You know, you can hear the sound quality. It was crisp. Yeah, it was very crisp. Like each boop, 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 boop. Right. All right. That was a sace. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's it's okay. It's about a. I do feel just. It's just tightness in my back. Okay. Well, just said it's yeah. different. Is it different at all? A what little bit. Six. A little, now it's a five. Yeah. You're just like one five. notch down, I guess. Okay. Go on. Put your hands on your back. Lean back. Okay. That was a six, also. Oh yeah. This has gone down. This is maybe maybe five or four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, look at the floor, please. Ooh. This one feels very loose. Good ceiling. This one feels good too. Good. Look straight ahead. Those are sixes, or one was a six and one was a five, or something like that, right? Yeah, they're all below five. Gotcha. <laughs> at what is the neck? About a three or a two or what? Maybe a three. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Now spread your feet. Squat to the ground, please. Spread like this much. Just whatever. You just you oh, squat. Time. That was a six in your back before? Yeah. Well, down really down low here, it's still a little tight. So what maybe is a six? It's probably like a four or five. Got you with the left knee. Was a three? Um, it's, yeah, two, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we'll do a follow-up video. See you guys next time. Bye. It's my third day. It went by super fast. Uh, got a ton of adjustments. I feel really great um, progressively starting yesterday, second day. Today, I even feel better. Um, I'm a pretty skeptical person, so I just, I wanted to see this for myself. Um, and I've been sleeping better. Um, I feel, I don't feel that pain that I normally do when I get up. Um, cause it's just always there. Like it's just always there. Not very severe, but just annoying in there. Um, I don't feel that at all today. I didn't feel that much yesterday. Um, the adjustments were, yeah, I was a little sore after them, but I, you know, figured that's part of the process. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just got a little taste of this. I know I'm supposed to stay like longer, two weeks or so, <laughs> but I, I hope I can come back and get the full experience. Um, Good. Yeah. So low back pain, you came in low back pain. What, how's that? Any, better? Um, yeah, I don't feel it much. I feel it a little bit after the adjustment. Like I, I feel like it's like almost Moving reacting. Yeah, reacting. Yeah. Gotcha. Neck pain? Uh, no, especially in the morning is when it's worse. Like I didn't really feel it. Carpal tunnel, <laughs> carpal tunnel. How about your left arm? Um, yeah, it's fine. I don't feel any left knee. Have a left knee. Yeah, not an issue. I don't I don't even realize like I had a left knee <laughs> <laughs> Headache. Yeah, no headache and the sleeps better obviously. Yeah, gotcha and anxiety Um, Not really. Yeah, I feel pretty feel different chill. Um, Something we discovered yesterday on her her both her shoulders come forward But this one comes a lot more forward and yesterday we were really surprised how much it came forward and can you see that on there at all? It's difficult to see guys but anyways, just understand that this comes a lot more forward. Her arms actually forward here, her shoulders forward. She asked her mother if she dropped her on her head when she was a baby, or if she disciplined her with the, you know, those those Asian cane things. Yeah, did it happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that. But uh, she says, no, honey. No. <laughs> Your mom likes all meek and stuff. <laughs> you can't even imagine. Oh, she's scary. Imagine. Tell us about the self-adjusting though, because that's a really interesting thing for them. She's been doing it her oh, whole yeah. life. Yeah, it started with like cracking my fingers, and then I started. I could crack, you know, I could crack all these other joints. It's, every bone, I can yeah, every joint like yeah. that. Remember that whole cocking thing? And it's thing? satisfying, like the sound. I just feel like, oh, maybe this is this is feeling better. Then it became a habit, a lifelong habit. So I've been doing it as far as I can remember, like maybe starting like late primary school, um, and and I really literally could crack every bone in my body, um, which is I like to show that off, but. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, now tell us, tell us how this week has changed. These couple days have changed. Okay. I told you not to do it and you wanted to do it. Tell us about this and the feelings that are different. Yeah, um, I noticed that I had less of an urge to. Um, and, and partly because I was like, okay, I shouldn't be messing up your work. But at the same time, it's also like, it, it was like progressively getting better, that urge, especially like, like, but there were times where I caught myself, I was like, oh, oh no, I shouldn't. And I actually do feel better without the self-adjusting. Good. Um, I think, I'm glad you said that. Because there's a million people out there that watch these videos and they all think self-adjusting is good for them. And I tell them, I go, stop it. And they go, oh, you just are afraid that we're not going to pay you to do it. And <laughs> she is, uh, claims that she's the best self-adjuster ever. And that she can adjust every freaking bone in her body her entire life. But this experience here is better than that. So obviously there's a disconnect, guys. Logic, right? Okay, guys, just a quick trip to the x-ray room. Let's take a look. So this pink line is the center of mass of your body, okay? And your head is right of center. So it's tilted right 4.2 millimeters. Um, not as much as JoJo's, but still tilted. And your right shoulder is lower. So essentially your whole body's tilted to the right, mm. okay? And so this is your right shoulder, and this is the one that's forward. I don't see anything that is glaring that the reason why it's so protruded forward. Um, the humeral head is a little bit different presentation, but it's not dislocated, but it is definitely different. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, this arrow points to the direction that your head is leaning. This arrow points to your left jaw, which is not terrible, but there's a little jaw pressure. TMJ we talked about, right? Mm -hmm. 14 degree scoliosis right here in the upper back. Oh, it's the Four, upper. Yeah, 14 degree, both of these. See, 14 this way, 14 this way. Most, cons most um, focused right here between T1 and uh, T4. Okay, here's the low back, 16 degree scoliosis down here. Oh. So left leg shorter. Uh -huh. um, the thing that you have is all this massive um, bone growth on the ends of your rib heads. I call it arthritis, the rib heads. Oh. And that's there because of long, 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 long standing um, uh, imbalance that causes stress to your body so much that you've had pain for so long that this is, this is just evidence of that. Okay, uh, constipation all through the middle of your spot. Bo <laughs> she poops now, but this was this is what we saw two days ago at her stomach. More significant arthritis than you should have at your age, all between your shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this is all. If you look up here closely, these bones are they're hooks on the ends here, mm -hmm. hooks on the ends. So it's not the worst of arthritis I've ever seen, but you're so small and uh, young that you should not have this amount of arthritis. Mm -hmm. Again, tons and tons of, I, again, I call it arthritis of the rib heads, but this is calcification. I mean, she has it almost all calcified. Closer to a 60-year-old body <laughs> than a 30-year-old body. The neck should be shaped like this yellow line, okay? So that's an obvious thing. Uh, this arrow is where I want to focus my treatment on her, and I've been focusing all week. This arrow points to her arthritis, but again, the arthritis is very unusual. If you look, you see how it comes straight down here, and then there's actually, this bone has gone backwards. We call it a posteriority. And so there's actually a little hook right here. That doesn't happen very often. This is like a traumatic issue. Again, your mom, I think she just <laughs> beat the shit out of you. Yes, there's also my dad. Oh, okay, we haven't talked about him. But if you look up close, guys, see how this is, these are lined up right here, and you see how this bone is not lined up? That mm -hmm. doesn't happen very often. Mm -mm. It's very unusual, actually. So if you look above here, see they all line up? There's problems, but this one's oh, actually yeah. stepped back a lot. And so it's not just step back, it's also arthritic all in this joint. And that's a traumatic thing. And that's not just a normal, I screwed up and got in a car accident, or I screwed up and my boyfriend didn't like me. No, this is something like you, I don't know how that even, where did that even come from? I don't know what that means. But this is like something like you, um, like fell. I think you, you know, hit, hit the curb or went over the handlebars or fell off the monkey bars or, or your, like I said, your mom beats the shit out of you or your dad. Because this is like really odd to have this bad. And your shoulder reflects that also. So these are kind of extenuating circumstances that are un unusual. This is where your problem is, right? Oh. Right there. And that's why we take x-rays. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Does your chiropractor take x-rays? So you know this is a normal one? Mm -hmm. Okay, you see how these all line up and see how the backs all line up? And yours doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The Alice is a pretty good position, position on her. Like again, said this is the all the problem right here on her, mm -hmm. right in here. So you see the X-ray. I'll show you what I'll let you feel what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's the upper neck, and right here is where that thing goes backwards. You feel mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Up here, not as much pain. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Right. Yep. Exactly. That's exactly mm -hmm. where that goes backwards. It was like 
electricity. Ooh, that felt good though. <laughs> <laughs> right there, see right there. Ooh, felt good. <laughs> so why don't you tell them how the adjustments change over the last couple days? Um, it's not as painful. It feels good. It's a lot looser. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm, I'm not mm -hmm. like fighting it as yeah, much. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um, thank you. I think it was a good taste that I got. I, I hope I get back. I hope I. Yeah. Cheese or a taste? Soon. A taste. <laughs> a taste. I got it. A morsel. A morsel. Gotcha. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye.